my wallet's okay. I never check that. You can be a minimalist and have enthusiasm. I'm gonna keep it. See? Oh my goodness. I've been there the whole time. Oh my gosh. All right, we're doing it. We are doing it. We are doing it. There is no turning back. My camera is on. Welcome to my declutter. Welcome to this declutter my closet video. I've been putting this off because this is hard. I've decluttered a lot of my house, but doing my clothes, clothes have just meant a lot to me growing up. And it is now time to say goodbye to that greed, to that money pit, to that constant comparison and need to be in the new, in the now. That's just, it's so toxic for me to think that way. So that is why I'm transitioning. That is why I am finally decluttering my closet. Also, I'm just super tired of doing laundry. So you will see in the next videos, me decluttering my husband's closet and my kid's closet. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be oh, a task. Okay, let's just, let's start because if I think anymore, I'm not gonna do it. This is the last time you will see my closet this full. I counted. I actually sat here and counted with my baby on my hip. 134 items in my closet. I want my closet to get down to 40 items. What? I think just between my shirts and my pants, coats, sweaters, everything, I'm gonna get down to 40. I literally, you should feel my heart, you guys. This is big. I will start just on the far left, okay? Let's begin. This, I'm actually gonna keep this one. This is by Ivy City and it's so beautiful. Obviously it's not that low cut, but it's this beautiful lace. It's sweat proof, it's mom proof. This is just, this is what I wanna start collecting. Definitely things like this that are timeless, so summery, and they're literally like, need to breastfeed, pop open a button. How am I gonna get down to 40? <laughs> These overalls, I like them, but they bend weird up here. They're kind of uncomfortable when I walk. And those are things that I need to be strict with. If it's not comfortable and it's not something I can wear every single day, just don't think about it, give it away. This I bought because tie-dye was in. And tie-dye is gonna go out the same way it went out last time. So this is just an example of why I'm not gonna continue buying fast fashion. Instead, I'm gonna work on sustainable pieces like this that can last forever instead of Goodbye, tie-dye. This I have never worn. It's way too bougie up here. And I have two children and a loving husband. Not in my repertoire. It doesn't need to be here. Tar. Recent purchase because, and I fall into this trap on Instagram. I saw a mom who I love wearing this shirt, so I bought it. It literally hits me right below my bosoms. It's just like, I still have scarring from my birth. And it's not that I don't wanna show off my belly, it's just, it's not the time and I'm in my childbirthing years, so it doesn't really make sense to have like a cut off bougie shirt. <sighs> I can't make that decision yet. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Too bougie, too ugly. Never wear that. Mm, love that. Love that. Love that. This can go with the Lululemon. Brand names, just get rid of them if you don't wear them. Brand doesn't matter. I'm telling you that because I'm trying to believe it myself, okay? This cute purchase, bad execution. This one has a funny story. <laughs> I literally almost gave this away two weeks ago, but Tate was like, babe, 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 what are you doing? And I was like, I'm giving this away. And he said, that's like my favorite item in your entire wardrobe. And I said, oh, okay. I'll keep it. All right, we're getting somewhere. And this is my big puffy winter coat that I love that I will be keeping. All right, should I count? Oh, maybe, okay. One, two, three, four, 27, 28, 29. So I have 34, so I have six more items that I get to keep. And leave a comment below. Let me know if you think I actually made it minimal. Maybe be encouraging maybe be a little bit harsh. <sighs> Favorite pants. Golf skirts, they're going in the non-negotiable. I have to have these because of golf. Just so we're clear, I'm not keeping these because I want to. 
I have to. Alright, leggings. These are part of my like baseball life identity right here because it's not fun to sit in stands for four hours in a rain delay in jeans. So I wear leggings all the time to the baseball game. Always tie a little thing so your booty's not showing because modest is hottest. But I do have to keep some of these for sure. So I kept a warm pair of black, a warm pair of gray, and then one long workout pants. I actually am going to save these. So this is, they're inside out. But this is a short one that I wear in the summer. I only have one pair of these and they're very worn. They're also from Nike, so I will not be buying Nike again because I have read things about Nike that I don't really like in their factories. So I'm not gonna buy from them again, but I will invest in a short pair as soon as these are done. And they are almost done. So maybe for Christmas I'll get a new pair, but I have four sets of leggings and that's all I need. Winter, never wear this. Oh, this is my favorite piece in my entire closet. Isn't she lovely? A little pitchy, that's all right. See, ooh, ooh. You can be a minimalist and have enthusiasm. <sighs> Sweatshirt, hoodie, Justin Bieber stadium tour. I know I'm a mother of two, but I will support Justin Bieber because of what I have recently found out about him and he is strong and um, a good voice for kids. So I'm gonna keep that. I hope the back of my hair looks okay. I never check that. I went from 132 items to one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, 10, 17, 18, 19, 20, 31, 32, 33, 45, 46, 47. I can't believe I just did this. It feels so good. Try it. Try this and see how it goes. Christmas is coming up in five months, so if you accidentally get rid of something, you can survive until Christmas. Now, I told you I am transitioning from fast fashion to sustainable brands, and I just got a package today from Everly, which is a sustainable brand, and they have beautiful clothes that are timeless pieces, and I'm going to try a couple on for you really quickly, show you how they fit. They're still on their website right now, so if you want, you can go grab them. So the try-on is going to be postponed till tomorrow because I'm losing sunlight, as you can see. I've got to walk in about five minutes, so if I don't leave now, I will be late. See, oh my goodness. Has that been there the whole time? Oh, and there, oh my. And I'm back, obviously with a different shirt on because it's a different day. Better lighting. I'm gonna show you these products really quick. Let's go. Okay, I started with my favorite piece that I got. It's a brown t-shirt, so to say. It's just a more feminine take on a t-shirt. Super stretchy, super light. I also got it in the color pink. And this one is a size small, the brown one's a medium. I like these, they're just easy and feminine and I love the colors. This one I'll probably turn into like a tuck-in or a knotted shirt. This tank top was so cute. It's the perfect summer, breezy, super light, easy top. Obviously I had the wrong bra on, but it looks like it wouldn't be a problem. This might be a problem. I'm a little bustier up here, but I am breastfeeding, so we'll just see how it goes. Obviously, I loved it. <laughs> Okay, I love this tank top, but the second I put it on, the color just wasn't right. The fit is gorgeous. Like, I love how it's feminine and it just hangs really well. It's not revealing. It looks like it's just mom proof, so I'll probably try to find it in a black or a white. But yeah, this pink, I just really wasn't feeling it. Okay, these jean shorts. I've been waiting for the mail to come because I wanted to try these so badly. But I got them, obviously, way too big. And I was like, maybe, maybe I just need to go down a size looked in the mirror and oh my gosh, <laughs> just didn't fit my 5'3 body. Okay, this bodysuit, I wish it really worked, but I hate wearing tank tops that I have to hide my bra on. I'm not a strapless bra girl, but if you are and you don't have a problem with that, this is just an awesome, super lightweight, really breathable bodysuit. Short outros rock. So thank you for watching. Try to be minimal this week. Get rid of 10 items. Let me know if you do in the comments. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.